All right, in this video, I'm going to do another example of solving an equation involving two absolute value expressions. So to try to turn it into some examples, like, you know, similar to some of the examples I've done previously, the first thing I'm going to do is just take the absolute value of the numerator over the absolute value of the denominator for each fraction. Well, certainly we can simplify. Uh, the absolute value of 2 is just 2, so we can drop the absolute value there. The same thing with the 5. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, to, is just simply get rid of the fractions. So to do that, I, I'm just going to sort of uh, cross multiply here. So on the left side, we'll get 2 times the absolute value of 2x plus 1 equals 5 times the absolute value of 3x plus 6. And again, at this point, what we do is basically to, to create our two different equations that we have to solve. For one of the equations, um, everywhere there's absolute value on, you know, for my two, my two expressions, um, I just turn those into parentheses. So that's one equation we'll have to solve. The other equation we'll have to solve is we do the same thing, but on one of the set of parentheses, we have to multiply it by a negative as well. So instead of just in parentheses 2x plus 1, I'm going to put the negative um, on that side. And then the right side, I'm simply going to write as 5, and again, just in parentheses, 3x plus 1, or excuse me, 3x plus 6. So we've, we've introduced this negative 1 on one set of the parentheses. Well, at this point, now I've got my equations I have to solve. So on the left one, if I distribute by 2, I'll get 4x plus 2. I'll have 5 times 3x, which is 15x. 5 times 6 is going to give us positive 30. And then I'll subtract 4x from both sides. So that'll give me 2 equals, okay, so 15 minus 4x would be 11x plus 30. And now if I subtract 30 from both sides, I'll get negative uh, 28 equals 11x. And then I can divide both sides by 11 and I'll get x equals negative 28 over 11 as one of my solutions. And for the other one, okay, I could pull the negative all the way out front, so really we have negative 2 times 2x plus 1, and 5 times the quantity 3x plus 6. So if I distribute the negative 2, we'll get negative 4x. Negative 2 times positive 1 is negative 2, 5 times 3x is going to be 15x. 5 times positive 6 is going to be positive 30. And then I'm going to add 4x to both sides. So we have negative 2 equals 19x plus 30. I can subtract 30 from both sides. That'll give me negative um, 32 equals 19x. And then the last thing I'll do is simply divide both sides by 19. And I'll get my other solution of negative 32 over 19. So again, not the nicest numbers in the world, but solutions nonetheless.